Hey guys, so if you haven't watched the uh, first two videos, go back and watch those videos, especially the first one because uh, you'll see what this thing's capable of in ideal weather conditions. And since we've had, you know, crappy weather over this last three days, full on overcast, so nothing is being heated up by the sun, which is really challenging this thermal scope. And you'll find that Again, all thermal scopes are like this. Okay, the, these are the these are the things that affects these these types of uh, weapon scopes. And this is a weapons mounted thermal scope, um, just like in the movie Predator with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Go oh, get to the chopper, right? The Predator was seeing in these views, thermal vision. Okay, and uh, like anything else, of course, they have their limitations, but I'm. <laughs> Pleasantly surprised at what this thing has been able to to do. Last video was in the rain, misted woods, low low temperatures. Today, ninety four degrees, or I'm sorry, ninety four percent humidity, um, like forty nine degrees, and uh, we like again we took it down to the lake, and we were able to uh, see pretty darn far. Um, I, I again I was I was surprised, but. Because of that thickness, that this heavy air thickness, you know, that we're getting around here from the high humidity, um, it also is showing some of its uh, limitations. So, and again, I'm really surprised um, with the six with the six forty core that uh, is is in this one. HTI did a really good job. Um, so, we're gonna go over some distances. All right, let's get into it. All right, so. <laughs> I'm out at the lake on the bridge and uh, I wanted to test out some different distances here. So right up here on the road, uh, we ranged it out at 550 yards. The dock area right here is like 330 yards from where I'm standing now. Um, there's a clump of trees right out here that are 700 yards. And my rangefinder won't even touch that back wall back there area so um let's see here let me zoom in so yeah this this clump of trees right here is like 704 yards the house on the hill my rangefinder couldn't even range it so it's a lot further than that um the boat ramp area like i said was like 330 yards and then going up to the top of the road, almost where that car is on the very top, is like over 550 yards. So I'm going to test the thermal out and uh, see what kind of range I can get on this thing. So should be interesting. There's a boat dock area right there. Didn't range that out and wouldn't, uh, wouldn't range it. And my range, uh, my range finder is a Bushnell Elite. Uh, it's like a 1200 yard uh, rangefinder. So, and there are some vehicles back there too, as you can see. Zoom in here. The red vehicle back there. Yeah, so, all right. Well, let's uh, let's test out the uh, the legs on this uh, HTI HT C19 thermal scope with a 640 core and a 35 millimeter lens. All right. So as we uh, look out across the uh, boat dock here and the uh, road up on the hill. So we got 330 yards again for the boat dock, or the boat ramp area here, and that was 550 for the, um, for the road, cycle through the color palettes. White Hot seems to give me the best picture so far, obviously. Black Hot just seems to be a little bit too dark. Now, I did find some settings um, in the menu options that I'll go over in another video when I go through all of the features and bells and whistles on this thing, but yeah, hold on. Check out the uh, reflection of the car in the water. It's pretty cool. But um, those trees, clump of trees, again, 704 yards. But uh, um, I'll go over some other things about this scope um, in another in, in the next video or another video. And uh, But there are some settings in here where you can clean up the picture, I guess. It's like preset resolutions or something. I, I don't know, but... They have names for them. One is uh, custom, one is standard, one is city, and the other is jungle. And right now I have it on jungle mode because in these weather conditions, 
it brings out a little more crispness to background images that uh, get washed out. And again, we've been in overcast for about three days, so the sun is not heating. It hasn't heated anything up. So this is like everything is cooled down as it's going to get kind of thing. Um, but this this uh, this scope is really, really passing it with flying colors. That back wall back there, like you've seen in the video of me standing on the bridge, um, that's got to be 1,800 yards or better, maybe 2,000. There's that red truck. So, yeah. I mean, I'm thoroughly impressed with this uh, with this thermal scope so far. Um, and, and again, bad weather conditions will affect these scopes or, or these thermal devices and stuff. So, you know, it's something to be expected. Obviously, I'm not getting the crispest, crispest and crisp and clearest image. Blah. Um, but... The video isn't doing it justice either because, again, you got to remember, I'm looking through a little OLED screen with a 1440 by 1080 resolution, you know, with a 640 scope. So the videos really aren't doing it justice either. I'm seeing a much crisper image than what I'm looking at on the video with you guys. So just keep that in mind. But, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I think it's past... Uh, the uh, distance test with flying colors in adverse weather conditions because again these are not ideal weather conditions for these scopes you know high humidity you know the thickness uh, the, the humidity in the air really really diminishes its capabilities so but uh, so far so good I'm definitely impressed all right, in this clip, uh, I'm looking on the other side of the bridge at the trees, and you can see the level of detail here, okay? Different branches and twigs and stuff, and let's go back around. All the way to the other side, like I said, those trees. That house up there, I couldn't even get it to register on my uh, on my uh, range finder, so it's beyond 1,200 yards. But again, 330 yards where the boat dock is seems to be ideal for these weather conditions for hunting and things like that so even up the road so my son's walking back to the jeep there he is there not bad so right there he's about level a little bit further than what the boat dock is so he's between 330 and 350 yards away so again pretty darn good <laughs> i'm impressed Looks like Bigfoot walking through the woods. Oh, hey, Bigfoot. <laughs> Not bad. So you can definitely uh, spot human targets out to 350 yards pretty easily, as seen here. So, yeah, overall, freaking awesome scope I mean, for the price I paid for it. My son uh, is now so impressed with it that uh, he wants to buy one. So the funny part is, together we have spent less than one of the name brand scopes with the same capabilities, 640. Pretty cool. Now that we're done playing at the lake, it's about uh, 9.30, quarter to 10. And we got a fog bank that just rolled in here. So I don't know if you can pick that up. I'm just showing you live footage before we roll the... Um, the thermal footage and what the thermal is seeing in this crap. So just like turning on uh, headlights in a, in a, in a foggy driving condition, you can see the mist and the dew in the air here from the, from the light, right? So you can see how foggy it actually is. And it's a good time to do this because my son's just got back with the uh, truck and trailer and uh, they're going to be parking it. So we're going to, we're going to actually be able to see their thermal images and the heat from the truck and, some other critters that are out here. So, but right now, visibly, it's just a foggy, really, really foggy night, which is going to really test these thermals out. Again, um, like glass, can't see through glass. Well, these water droplets create kind of the same effect, but because they're so spread out and not as thick as a solid sheet of glass, it still can see, but you're going to see how degraded it actually is in full-on fog. All right, let's do it. Anyways, as I cut through the fog here, um, you can see the different contrasts for the heat. So, 
Uh, as I'm looking through the fog, what do I see? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come with me and you'll see a whole bunch of OSHA violations. <laughs> My knucklehead sons. But hey, what did Jordan Peterson say? Boys are doing things dangerous or if boys are doing something dangerous but safely, leave them be. Anywho, you can definitely see the different contrasts here um, between the trees and the background. Again, overcast. Nothing has been heated up for three days by the sun. So even the bench that you can see in front of my son standing on the back of the trailer, um, you can see how light everything is, even the tree. But the truck, their thermal images, cuts right through this fog. It's actually pretty impressive. But... Um, Again, some of the uh, image enhancements, you know, those modes, the city and the uh, the jungle. It's in jungle mode right now. So, And going through the different color palettes, you can see which ones really make them stand out a little more. Like I said, I'm very impressed. This thick of fog, I mean, you can see basically this washout you see in the background is the fog that it's seeing, the water droplets. And it's preventing it from seeing past it, almost like looking through glass. But... It's not blind. So, again, that other one that I sent back, that Goyo Joe, that thing went blind for no reason, and the weather conditions were ideal. So, you know, it made no sense. But it's still seeing things like the rabbits in the yard and stuff like that in the thick fog. And, again, video quality. So you can focus. I'm trying to focus it up right here, unlike what I didn't do at the lake, which I should have done when I was looking at things far farther away. But, um, again, the video quality doesn't do what you're seeing in the eyepiece justice. So, chicken coop. There's some stupid chickens in the trees. But, yeah. I mean, again, <laughs> I'm impressed. I have no complaints so far. Here you can see I'm just going to be focusing between the cat to get the best picture quality of the cat close up. And then the truck, Right. And again, this is a manual focus uh, scope, so when you are looking at things far away or close up, you have to remember to you know fine tune that focus. Again, I should have done that at the lake, and it would have yielded actually better results than what you were able to see in the. So I kind of cheated the scope out of it, but very impressive again. All right, so this clip was actually taken last night, um, about eight o'clock or so. Yeah, it says it up there on the top. There you go. 2006. So, um, again, for the past three days, we've had this blanket of thick fog like we did tonight. So, this one was again last night. And I spotted some deer out there and some rabbits running around um, from the second floor window. And uh, this is a distance of about 40, uh, uh, 45 yards from where I'm at. So, again, not bad in, a, in, in this hazy, thick fog we've been having, overcast weather. It's just been crappy, but I'm glad because now I'm getting to see, well, I guess you can say the worst side of, of thermal scopes in this aspect. So if this is the worst I can expect from fog and rain and cold and overcast days for days and days and days where it's not heating up anything around me, you know, the trees and things like that, I'm good with this. Look at this. This is crazy. And again, this is 8 o'clock at night, so it's pitch black and, you know, with this fog weather. So, again, I'm very impressed with it, you know, um, going over some of the um, um, the different um, specs on this scope, I should say. Again, I'm, I'm impressed for the price. So, there, all are, there are other alternatives and, you know... When you're in a price range or price budget like I have, you know, you're going to seek out the best. And sometimes the name brands just aren't it. But uh, I'm getting name brand quality in this scope for half the price, like I said before. And it's just awesome. <laughs> it's an awesome piece of equipment. But, well, like I said, I hope this uh, video helped somebody out. But, uh, yeah, guys, thanks for watching.